celebration of the Maritime and Archipelagic Nation Awareness Month, the National Museum of the Philippines launches the upgraded 300 Years of Maritime Trade in the Philippines exhibition at the second floor hallway gallery of the National Museum of Anthropology. This exhibition aims to share with the public the significant artifacts and their history gathered through archaeological research and to raise awareness on the museum's role in the protection and management of underwater cultural heritage resources in the Philippines. It showcases the material evidence that was archaeologically recovered from seven shipwreck sites dated from 13th, 15th, and 16th century CE. These sites are part of our underwater cultural heritage that offer valuable historical information and are testimony to trade and cultural dialogue between people and nations. However, these resources are vulnerable to various threats from human activities and natural processes. Thus, the protection and management of these sites are a priority and a challenge. This exhibition reveals that 300 years before the arrival of the Spanish naval expedition in the early 16th century CE, the local population in the present-day Philippines have already engaged in international trading with ports and polities of Southeast Asia, China, and Indian Ocean states, and traders from far and wide geographies meet and exchange an extensive range of commodities. In the 13th century, the overland Silk Road commercial route became largely inoperable, causing a redirection of trade routes from land to the seas. The Maritime Silk Road, as it came to be called, stretched from the Mediterranean to southern China, traversing the Red Sea, Indian Ocean, and South China Sea. There are two shipwreck sites featured in this section, the Breaker Reef and the Pawican Shoal shipwrecks. In 1988, broken pieces of porcelain were discovered by a fisherman while collecting lobsters at Breaker Reef in southwest Palawan. In 1991, the site was excavated by the National Museum of the Philippines in collaboration with Frank Codios Worldwide First. The archaeological assemblage totaled more than 2,000 objects such as ceramic bowls, saucers, ewers, and jars. In 1990 and 1991, remains of a sunken vessel were excavated at the Pawican Shoal, also called Investigator Shoal, in the Kalayaan Group of Islands, West Philippine Sea. The project led to the recovery of Chinese Saladon and Qingbai ceramics in the form of cups, bowls, saucers, and plates, as well as stoneware jars. Along with these, Approximately 3,000 pieces of bronze rings were collected at the site, which may have been purposely hidden as the Chinese imperial government during this time prohibited the export of metals. Both shipwrecks provide tangible evidence of the vibrant commercial exchange between China and the Philippines during the 13th century CE. The 15th century saw the emergence of Southeast Asian merchants dominating the South China Sea as China underwent internalization following the purge of the foreign Mongol-led Yuan Dynasty in 1279-1368. The consequent maritime trade ban severely restricted the outflow of Chinese merchandise that was taken as an opportunity by Southeast Asians to take over the Chinese maritime routes. Southeast Asian shipwrecks dated from the late 14th century towards the end of the 15th century show the scarcity of Chinese merchandise. This is evidenced by the Pandanan shipwreck. The site was accidentally discovered in 1993 by a pearl farm diver while looking for a missing basket containing pearls near Pandanan Island, southern Palawan. Vietnamese ceramics comprised more than 70% of the ceramic cargo, along with lesser quantities of Chinese and Thai ceramics. 
One remarkable ceramic object recovered is a declared national cultural treasure due to its age, rarity, and unique craftsmanship. The big blue and white porcelain bowl with kilin and phoenix decorations is extraordinary in that it was manufactured in the 14th century during the short reign of the Yuan dynasty period, almost 100 years before the Pandanan vessel sailed in the middle of the 15th century. The Chinese maritime trade resumed in the late 15th century despite the ongoing maritime ban as evidenced by the cargo of the Santa Cruz and Lanashol shipwrecks. In 1996, a late 15th to early 16th century shipwreck was accidentally discovered by fishermen at Lanashol in northern Palawan. The archaeological excavations were conducted by the National Museum of the Philippines along with French underwater archaeologist Frank Godio. The shipbuilding construction revealed a hybrid vessel named South China Sea Shipbuilding, a combination of Chinese shipbuilding tradition and Southeast Asian technique. More than 7,000 archaeological specimens were recovered comprising high-fired ceramic tradewares from China, Thailand, Vietnam, and Burma along with earthenware, elephant tusks, brass rings, and gongs. The presence of tin ingots suggests that the ship might have also touched the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra. The Santa Cruz shipwreck is another late 15th to early 16th century Southeast Asian trading ship that was discovered off the shores of Santa Cruz in northern Zambales province. The shipwreck was inadvertently discovered in 2001 by a fisherman. The site was excavated by the National Museum of the Philippines in collaboration with the Far Eastern Foundation for Nautical Archaeology. The shipwreck cargo contained more than 15,000 archaeological objects, the majority of which are high-fired and glazed porcelain and stoneware ceramics from China along with a few pieces from Thailand, Vietnam, and Burma. European naval expeditions reached Southeast Asia in the early 16th century, ushering new sea-based network links. This resulted in the birth of global maritime trade as manifested by the Manila-Acapulco Galleon trade route in the middle of the 16th century. The trade route, operational from 1565 to 1815, was instrumental in connecting the eastern and western terminus of the Pacific and, by extension, Europe and the rest of the world. The Philippines played a critical role in the emergent European colonization of Southeast Asia after the late 16th century. At present, there are eight shipwrecks dated to the 16th century including the San Isidro and the Kanduli Shoal. The San Isidro wreck was inadvertently discovered during an underwater exploration conducted by the National Museum of the Philippines and the Far Eastern Foundation for Nautical Archaeology off the waters of Barangay San Isidro in Zambales Province. The shipwreck contained a cargo of mostly Chinese porcelain blue and white ceramics, popularly known as swata wares. Majority of the ceramic wares appear in the form of dishes, saucers, bowls, jars, leads, and a box. In 1985, electronic surveys in search for the English East Indiaman Royal Captain revealed low-level magnetic anomalies on the north side of the Kanduli Shoal, also known as the Royal Captain Shoal. Subsequent undersea investigations by the National Museum of the Philippines and Worldwide First led by Frank Godio revealed shipwreck material remains dated to the 16th and 17th century CE and apparently not related to the royal captain that sank in 1773. The archaeological inventory included Chinese blue and white and monochrome porcelains, stoneware jars, earthenware and bronze gongs among others. The Chinese porcelains comprised plates, saucers, bowls, cups, boxes, bottles and jarlets with different decorative motifs. The National Museum of the Philippines the leading government agency tasked with the protection of the country's underwater cultural heritage 
continues to analyze the objects recovered from several shipwreck sites in the waters of the Philippine archipelago to reveal more valuable information about our heritage and maritime history for the benefit of the future generations and our aspirations as a nation. We invite you to visit this exhibition and see our interesting collections when your museum opens again to the public. But for now, we hope you enjoy our Museum from Home program.